Hey, this is Anu and this is a quick tutorial for an image combiner using Nano Banana. So, Nano Banana is still kind of hot model right now and for good reason, uh, technically it is the Gemini 2.5 flash image model done by Google and it is a state of art image model for sure because it can do thing like this be able to take two different images and combine these images into one realistic image result are here which is pretty cool you can see this is the official official site of google nano banana and where it is mentioned that where it took three images and combined those three images into a powerful UGC ad. So let's quickly go through our workflow. This is our first UGC ad that I have created with Nano Banana. So first you can see we have a man picture over here and we have a bottle. We created this image with the help of Nano Banana and the image quality is insane. So now we will go through our workflow and we will create the same thing. This is my workflow where we took a from submission node where we will submit multiple images and we will also input our prompt so that it can convert our images into a single image with our prompt. So, so let's go through the workflow. So this is our from submission node. When we upload the images, then it will extract the images from the first image and convert it into a base 64 string. Similarly, the second image will be also converted to a base 64 string and then it will pass through a set node where we will just differentiate the data and the mind type for both the images so you can see we took a image one here and next we use a merge node to merge those two into a single next we use a code node to convert that base 64 to an image url so that we can send those image url to the open router we use open router for creating the images via google banana i am facing issue directly calling google banana api to resolve this i use a third party api that is open router to create an api from open router you need to just go to openrouter.com and you need to create your own api so we used a http request within that request you need to just send our images and our prompt to the open router url so that it will it can send our user input along with the image along with the images to open router so next node is uh, again a set node we will segregate data base and the file extension next node we used a convert to file that is that means we need to convert the base 64 to an image after that we will upload this file into a google drive and send an email to the user that your viral ugc ad is ready so this was my first now we took two images to create the same type of ad let's click on execute workflow so now i will choose those images and now i will provide the prompt so the prompt is combine the man from the first image with the water bottle from the second image make him hold the bottle naturally in his hand smiling at the camera keep a clean simple like a casual photo ad now our you can see our image is getting ready now we have received the image and it is uploaded into our google drive and also it is sending an email to me that your ugc ad is ready this is insane and this is super cool so let's check our google drive and the, our ugc ad that we have created just right now with the help of google nano banana we can see our image from here if i click on view you can see and this is insane it combines the images and create our ugc ad and this is great you can create multiple ads with the help of google nano banana and now it's time to check our google drive also 
our UGC ad is ready and it is uploaded in the Google Drive. Now I will hit press. Now you can see. So now I will open that image and now you can see this is quite great image that is created by Google Nano Banana. And it's time to check whether I received that email or not as you can see it already sent me the email that my google my ugc ad is ready for use click on my account so going so now you can see we have received an email that ugc ad is ready now if i this is the direct link from my drive and also we have received the attachment that our UGC ad is ready so you can see the same image and if you if you just look into the image and this is quite good image created by Google Nano Banana so now we will go through step by step how we create this workflow so I will just first you need to take a form so this is my form and you can just add any title UGC ad and you need to you need to create a form field that is the images and the element type will be file and you need to check multiple files so that you can upload multiple files together and this will be a required field you need to turn on this button so next I will say prompt and this will be a text field and this is also a required field so I will keep things in the below now you need to click on extract from file so once you click on this you need to just click on move file to base 64 string and your node will be ready and we will take another node that is extract from same because we uploaded two images that's why so now so by default I will you can see once we upload that image you will get the image view in both the th you will get both the image view and from here we just images zero that is the first image and you can see the image on the right side so now I will so what is the our form name that is the images so the same thing input binary field will be this and input finary field will be this one will be one so next you need to add a set node so just click on that and you need to just segregate the data base and if you want you can uh, you can just segregate things with data base or and mine so I will go through the node you can see we have just segregate the data and mine type so from here so from this node we need to just segregate the data and the mine type the mine type means the which extension which type of image is that so this is uh, JPEG so that's why it you can uh, the same thing you can see we just segregate the data and the mind type for the second image now we will add here the same thing set node you can just add a set node over here and do the same thing that is the data and another is mine and your node is ready next you need to add a merge node to merge two things into one so your merge node is ready 
now you need to just take a code node to create the base 64 image url so this is very important things taken our character image and the product image that we uploaded via form and next we have converted this base 64 to an image url so this is our image url this is also our image url so you can see we just convert into our image url and also we have also we pass the prompt from our from submission so that it can be reused on our next node so next we have used next we have used a uh, http node so you can just type http node and you, you will get your http node and the method will be post so the method will be post and this is the url of open router that we need to send our request to open router because we are we are not directly calling google gemini api that is the google banana api for creating the image that's why we are using a third party api the third party api services provided by the open router to create the image via google banana so you need to just set your account to create the image and after that you need to just send headers that is you need to just turn on this button send headers and you need to just send content type as a application json now the main part we need to send a json parameter for creating our ugc ad so you can just click on using json and now i will show you my json so now i will show you the json object so you can see this was my prompt and we use as model as google gemini 2.5 flash image preview message the role is user and the content is the content type is text and the text is this is the prompt that we submitted within our form next we need to just pass our character url and the image url base 64 data so once we send these things it will send to google banana for creating that images next we need to we need to add again a set node for segregate the base and data so you can just select over here and i will show you from this node so once you receive the image once we receive the base 64 image from our open router we need to just pass that base 64 as a data input and we need to just segregate his base the image base that is the this part this part we need to just segregate to to create the image from base 64 now if i click on show data you can see this is our image url that is the base 64 image and this is our base and the file type we will use dot png extension after that we just pass the base to create the image so after that so once the image is converted from base 64 to an image you can view that image here and you can see this is the image we have now you need to select a google drive so this is uh, my google drive so operation will be upload so you can see we have uploaded that file into our google drive so this is my folder name you need to just select the folder name in which folder you want to save that 
data and after that you can you can get the thumbnail link you can get the web view link and the web content link as well my next and last node is uh, email trigger so that once it is generated we can we will have an email that our image ad is ready so once is it is done so you can send an email to any person that your image is ready so so you can build this type of workflow easily with the help of uh, third party api or google banana or google gemini directly call the api of google banana so that's it for today if you like my video please subscribe and comment and also like my video and thank you guys have a nice day bye bye